Okay, well, we're about ready to build our house and we have a friend. This is what I was telling you about the spiders during the day. If the spiders aren't on your trail at night and daytime rolls around, they're actually kind of harmless and it's kind of cool because you get to go up and look at them without worrying about them eating your face off. Well, anyhow, we were going to build a house and I didn't want to do all this boring stuff on camera so what I did was I came up and I picked a location for the house and it's not very far from our other house or our mine and uh, we're gonna just build a, a little house the design is called Cozy Cottage I'm not sure exactly who came up with it but it's really a neat little house so what I've done is I've just kinda outlined where we're gonna do the house and the first thing that you usually do when you build a house is you want to make your door even with the dirt so it's just easier to get in and out of. So I've, I've marked with torches where the foundation is going to go and you just dig in one level and that's where your, um, your foundation is going to be. So I'm going to just go ahead and clear a foundation spot. And this is a, it's not a big house, but the dimensions are really good for a first house because you kind of have everything that you need within um, a very short distance within the house. So you've got room for your bed. We'll even put in a fireplace, but there's something special I want for the fireplace. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to go to the nether to get it. When you use fuel in a fireplace, you can use things like wood logs, and they'll burn for a while. But if you want the fire to never go out, you have to use something called netherrack, and you can only get that in a different part of the game called the nether, and we're going to have to use some of our diamonds in order to get there. But the first things first is you need to build a house. So... Um, I'm keeping my eye on the clock quite a bit because the last couple of days I've been out here working on this, there have been a lot of creepers and I have some creeper holes I'm going to have to fix because I was ambushed on my way out of the mine and um, I just wasn't fast enough to keep them from blowing up and when they blow up they do a lot of damage. So I've got some creeper holes i got to fix. This looks pretty good. Okay, now usually for the perimeter of the house, I use stone, um, um, cobblestone, and I just go all the way around. This helps in case a creeper does come up to the side of your house and want to uh, get mad. Oops. Now if you want to place a block underneath you, what you do is you press your space bar, the one you use to jump, and then you um, press the right click and you can, can place the block underneath you while you jump. That's handy in trying to get out of a hole you fall into and I'll show you that later. Okay, so now we got the perimeter of the house uh, foundation up. Now the next thing that I, I'd like to use wood for the floor on the inside because it's just prettier. And I was looking at the difference between the um, oak wood and the jungle wood and I think I like the oak wood better so I'm going to use that. And this is similar to planting your wheat. You, um, you walk backwards while holding down your your place button and you'll pl just place it a lot faster. And I'm not necessarily all that great at it because I have th arthritis and it's hard for me to get my finger off that button fast enough. And so I usually end up with <laughs> a lot of oopsie placed blocks. We might not be able to get this all done in one in one episode, but hopefully we will. Mm 
Oops. Now this is going to be the width of the house and that is the length. So the next thing that I do, something I really like to use for the the very edges is logs. Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. And if we had birch logs, that's what I would use, but we don't, so I can't use them. All right, so what I do is I go to the end and you look down on this first block and you place a log and it goes that way. So then you can hop up on it and go one, two, three, four. Is it four or three? Okay, it's going to hurt to get off of here. Ouch! But it's not usually too bad, I think. can't remember if it's three or four. I guess we might end up with a tall house. Because I can never remember if it's three or four. So, ouch! It's not too bad when you take a little bit of a fall. Ooh! Heavens, that's going to get in our way. There we go. That's not too bad. Let's try to preserve some of this top of the mountain. Okay, so is that three or four? Ouch. Two, three. You know what? I think it's three. You can tell it's been a while since I've built this house. So I think it is three. One, two, three. Okay. See, that one doesn't hurt as bad. And we're going to try and recapture some of those end pieces. Okay. So these are our perimeter walls, or our perimeter, what holds up the walls. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the, the actual walls. Once we get uh, the wall built up to too high, we can actually work in here. Oops. We can work in here at night without having to worry about the the creepers or anything else trying to get at us. And I go ahead and I, I fill it in. There's going to be windows in some of these spots, but I just want to get it to where it's too high so that if we want to work at night, we can. Because the Minecraft days are only 10 minutes long and it takes more than 10 minutes to build a house. Well, to build this one anyhow. Looks like I need some more logs. Let me just take them all. You can see I've got some of my some of my building materials out here. I brought out the bricks and I also brought out some stuff. I'm going to show you how to do stone fence. Because stone fence is nice. After they did an update on the game, something I noticed is when you use regular fencing material to pen in your animals, sometimes they get out. And I think it's because they did something to the way fences work. But the stone fences still seem to work really good. And you can see we're just about at night time. Now, normally, once you get too high, you're safe. However, I think that spider has been just kind of hanging out all day hoping to ambush us once darkness came. And spiders can climb over the walls, so I'm going to have to go ahead and head back to the mine. We're just about out of time anyhow. I'll go ahead and sleep so that we sleep through the night. And then when I come back, we'll go ahead and finish building up our house. Sound like a plan? Yeah, I thought so. Bye.